Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 70. Uh, for the episode ahead, firstly, we're going to complete the new quest, Song of the Elves, to unlock Prifterness and try out some of the content there. There's a few things I want to have a look at and test out to see if they're any good for me as an Iron Man. And then, the big one, 99 Herblore. Definitely going to get that this episode. Need to collect some more Mort My Fungus, but once I've got that, we'll be going straight for 99. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, I think that is the end of the quest. Song of the Elves completed. You get a decent chunk of XP for doing this in a few skills, which is nice. Really enjoyed the quest. Honestly, it was really well put together. Um, the light puzzle was good fun as well. I enjoyed it. So time to explore Prifterness and see what it holds for me. A crystal tool seed on my third Zolcano kill. Don't know what the drop rate for that is yet, but I feel like I've probably gotten very lucky there. All right, well, this is going to be my 50th Zolcano kill. I have to say I am really enjoying this boss. I think part of it is because the drops are slightly overpowered at the minute. So I'm definitely trying to make the most of it. And I'm hoping that I can upgrade the dragon pickaxe to the crystal pickaxe soon. I think I've nearly got all of the shards that I need. And then that will make my kills here even better and have more chance of getting the MVP loot. So yeah, going well so far. All right, so I ended up getting 120 crystal shards from Zalcano and seeing as I'm gonna be there for a little while longer, I figured I would upgrade my dragon pickaxe to a crystal one. And that should hopefully give me a better chance of getting some of the MVP loot. Oh, that looks really cool. Let's try it out. So at the time of recording this, the wiki didn't really have any information on how many shards it took to recharge the pickaxe, but I've just tested it. And it seems that each crystal shard gives 100 charges, which is actually pretty good. And it should mean that I'll be able to sustain a crystal pickaxe at Zolcano um, very comfortably actually, which is nice. So having just finished my 100th Zalcano kill, I thought I'd come and do a price check. In total, the loot comes out to 9 mil, excluding the crystal tool seed that I used on my dragon pickaxe, which I believe is selling for about a mil at the moment. So that would be 10 mil from 100 kills, excluding the profit that you might make from turning the crystal shards into potions, which I don't know how much that is, but you do need a high herbal level for that. But that's 100k a kill, and I think you can manage 20 to 25 an hour, which is pretty good. So it's 2 to 2.5 mil um, profit excluding, well, it's not profit because I didn't really take out the cost of food and stamina potions, but uh, in terms of getting the MVP loot, I had 20 out of 100. That's what these ashes represent, which basically means if you do the most damage, you get an extra drop essentially. So yeah, one in five kills, I was getting the MVP, which is not too bad. Really pleased with this loot. It's, I haven't calculated how much smithing XP it is, but I feel like it would be a decent chunk. And yeah, not a bad way to get the crystal shards either. All right, so I just hit 200 KC at Zolcano. I'm gonna pull up the loot on the screen now. For some reason, my rune light tracker is missing two kills, but it was nothing too special, so that doesn't particularly matter. As you can see, I got a few more MVP rewards in this 100 kills compared to the first 100. I was manipulating a little bit, um, mostly just doing a 1.5 tick on the first hit on the boss and then regularly attacking it after that. I think I'm going to leave Zalcano for the time being and see what they do with it in terms of balancing. I'm hoping they do change it up a bit. I'm not a huge fan of the tick manipulation to get MVP and I'm hoping that they might make some sort of changes there to make it a little bit more even because the disparity of loot between getting the MVP drop and the regular loot is actually pretty big. So we're going to go ahead and try something else now. I think I might go and do the gauntlet for a bit and see how we get on there. Before we do though, I managed to get an elite clue from a random crystal impling. What can we get? Not much there. I have just picked up the Elven Signet which is a very rare drop from the Crystal Implings. I can't have caught more than 20. Unfortunately, there's not actually a way for me to check because they haven't updated the Magic Butterfly Net to include the Crystal Implings, but I really don't think I've caught more than 20. And this is gonna be really good because what it does, I believe it's a 5% chance to not use a Crystal Shard 
So that would be either for the crystal tools, so the, the pickaxe or the axe, or even the, um, the armors if I end up using those from the gauntlet. So I don't really have to hunt the crystal implings anymore, which is really nice. And um, I'm pretty sure I've gotten very lucky on that because I've seen videos of people opening, you know, 100, 200 crystal implings and not getting one. So that is very lucky. Slight change of plan. I said I was going to do some gauntlet, but they've actually just made some changes to Zalcano. And I do want to go for a second crystal tool seed. So I think instead, I'm just going to camp Zalcano for a bit, see if I can get lucky and maybe pick up the attachment for the dragon pickaxe as well, the cosmetic. All right, so I just got myself the enhanced crystal teleport seed. It took about 500 kills, so if the drop rate is around one in 512, which it is believed to be, then I've gotten it pretty much on rate. And I have to use about 100 crystal shards, might be 120, not 100% sure. And that basically is an unlimited crystal seed. So I don't have to keep the charged ones in my bank at all. So that's pretty good. All right, well, let's go ahead and make the eternal teleport crystal. And it is 100 crystal shards overall, which isn't too bad. I've racked up a decent stack of these now from doing Zolcano. And as I mentioned, it will save me two bank spaces and it is an unlimited teleport. Pretty cool. Got a random elite clue from a dragon impling. What can we get? A master clue. Let's see if we can do it. And we managed to complete the master clue as well. What can we get? Not very much. Uh, yeah, that's pretty poor. All right, so I just hit 400 KC at Zalcano, and that is going to be the last bit of elf content that I do in this video. And for the rest of the video, it's going to be a complete focus on getting 99 herb lore. I did want to just quickly compare the loot from these 200 Zalcano kills post changes that they made in the recent update with the previous 200. Um, to be perfectly honest, there's actually not that much difference. Um, it's just been made slightly more relaxed in the fact that I haven't been trying to do any tick manipulation. So there's a slight decrease in the uh, value of the loot that I got, but really nothing too spectacular. The number of MVPs that I was getting was roughly the same without any tick manipulation. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get another crystal seed but I will go back and try and get that another time because it's not a particular priority. So I just thought it'd be interesting to compare those loots there. So I finally finished collecting the Mortmire fungus, which means I have all of the herbs and secondaries that I need for 99 herb lore. They're in my inventory here, save for the torstals, which I've left in the bank. because I don't really want to turn those into unfinished potions. My cash stack is at 58.4 mil. Let's see how expensive this is going to be. Whew. So just under seven mil. A bit more expensive than I was expecting, but uh, let's get cracking with these. Here is the first of the four levels, 96 herb lore, three left to go. And there is 97, and there is 98, one left to go. It should go pretty quickly as well because I've left all of the highest XP pots for last. All right, this is the last potion that I need to make for 99 herb lore, so without further ado, there we go. I really did think that Herblor was going to be one of the last 99s I would get on the Iron Man, but particularly in the last year it's been made a lot easier with things like the farming contracts, so actually hasn't been too tricky to collect all of the herbs. I'm going to go and collect the cape. It doesn't really have too much use in terms of a skill cape perk, but I think it looks kind of cool and it's a bit of a flex, so I'm going to go and pick one of those up now. Alright, well there is the cape. We will of course do the obligatory skill cape emote. I think this one looks pretty good. You don't see it too often. That is pretty nifty. And as I said, I don't really think the cape has too much use. It, you can search it for a pestle and mortar, which I mean, that's not particularly useful. And you can also use grimy herbs to make unfinished potions whilst getting the XP for the cleaning, I guess. I really don't think it will allow you to do it while they're noted, but I thought I'd try it. No, so it's only unnoted. Oh, so I guess you need the vial of water as well. That's a really useless skill cape perk to be perfectly honest because everyone's just gonna be making their unfinished potions in Nada. But still, a very nice level and milestone to achieve. I'm very, very happy to get that one out of the way. 
And with that, we have come to the end of today's episode. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. It's great to be able to end an episode on a high, and I feel like 99 Herbivore is a pretty, pretty good milestone to be finishing up on. In terms of the next episode, I think I might do a little bit more skilling. Um, I've got some things that I need to out to boost up my cash stack a little bit, so there'll be some agility to kick things off. But then probably head back to God Wars. I've got a Zami task. Might be able to get the Zami Hill. I'm really hoping we can. And... Um, yeah, maybe a bit of runecrafting, maybe a bit of bandos, we shall see. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider dropping a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the episodes coming up in the future, feel free to subscribe. But until next time, guys, take care.